My name is Wiley, and this is my sign name. Hello, my name is Ambrose, and this is my sign name. Hello, I am Kelly Kim, and this is my sign name. Hi, my name is Bradley, and this is my sign name. We are brothers. And these are our dads. The two of them are biological brothers that we adopted together. I am Dev. I am Coda. Since we were together, we started discussing having children. We wanted to have children. Oh, yes, yes. I always wanted to have children. I wanted a deaf child. So we decided to attend an open house, and we were looking through pictures of children, and none were identified as being deaf. We assumed that they were all hearing. The problem is there is no labels for identifying deaf in the system. Sure, there are deaf children involved in foster care, but unfortunately they are not identified as deaf. When I asked the social worker whether there were deaf children in the area of Massachusetts, they said they didn't know. So we were like, what do we do? I was working for a family sign language program, and we were seated in a circle of new parents, and one parent, a foster mom, came forward and introduced herself as a foster parent and had a deaf child. And that child was smiling. When I asked if she was a foster mother, she replied yes. And I told her I was interested in adopting a deaf child. She was overjoyed and said, that's wonderful. I was very excited to finally have found a deaf child. But strange that a social worker couldn't identify a deaf child in Massachusetts, but I did. I'm very excited to be adopted. I just want to be with both of my dads. So while they moved in here on June 12th of 2015, his exposure to language was limited, really limited. And when he moved here, it was very hard to communicate with him. I was frustrated, really frustrated. I didn't know any sign at all. It was a challenge. You want to explain? Yeah, he had a lot of behavior issues when he arrived. He was kicking and biting and spitting. And you know, the problem was communication because he had a very limited vocabulary. I was angry, crying, and sad, and just really frustrated. The foster mother could sign a little bit, but she certainly was not fluent. It was a struggle with language for a long time because the child had never been exposed to it. They taught me. I felt better and so relieved. From that point, we started teaching him sign language. Later, we enrolled him in a deaf school, a preschool program, early childhood and just continued teaching him. I was complaining after all the sign language teaching, but I felt so much better. Sign makes me understand, and I can communicate with all of the deaf. With language, finally his behavior really improved. Yes, his language development just skyrocketed. He progressed by signing with his deaf parents and in school, in the community. In fact, he was signing with everyone around him. Now he has started to become the boy who he is today. Very sweet, kind, wants to follow the rules, be included with family, and loves to socialize. He was visually absorbing all the signs around him. He was truly craving this because he was facing such language deprivation. I miss my brother. We had separate rooms. The police took us to different rooms. And I asked my father if I could sleep with my brothers. Ambrose, I really wanted to be with him. Please. We were aware of Ambrose. It doesn't matter if he was hearing. We just wanted to adopt them and keep them together. When we first met Ambrose, he knew only one sign. That was no. <laughs> yes, he surely needed to learn sign language. Before they adopted us, we did not know sign. We didn't know how to. We would, I would sign to him and he would never understand me at all. We kept exposing him and teaching him. Now his sign language has improved so much. We want to sign, so we set up a rule that you you have to sign with a deaf family member in the same space. 
When I was seven, I started learning sign. Now I'm happy to have learned so much sign so I can talk with my brother and my dads. They sign with each other all the time, deaf and hearing communicating, backwards and forwards, and oh yes, they fight. Oh yeah. We have access to understanding, access to language, and family language is really important. I feel better that we can sign. I am happy to provide them a language to communicate with. I love to be with them forever till I'm 18 years old. The foster care network system needs to be improved for sure. The system should identify deaf children. Disabilities tend to be kept private and confidential, so how would we know? If we have a deaf child in need, they must be sent to deaf foster parents. This is needed. All parents should sign, or at least they should try to sign their best. Just try your best. If hearing parents struggle to communicate with deaf children, then learn the language. Expect 100% access to communication, not reduced amounts or parts of communication. Thank you, dads. We, we love, love you. you.